Once again, welcome everybody. I'm Trent Salter with PremierGuitar.com. We are rocking Nashville, Summer Nam 2008. We are here in the Fender Musical Instruments booth with the Charvel folks. And we're here with Michael McGregor of Charvel. What's going on, brother? Not much, man. Thanks for stopping by, Trent. Yeah, no problem. Uh, when it, what's going on at the show right now for Charvel is we're excited to announce at this show the new USA production model series. Yeah. All made in USA Charvels with the right stuff for $9.99. Awesome. That's a price point they haven't been at ever before. No, they haven't been at that price point before, and they haven't been a production. We haven't offered a production model in a long time. Yeah. It's a very limited dealer network. It's going to be elusive and exclusive, but it's the right stuff. All right, let's let's check out some of the voodoo, bro. Sure, uh, no problem. It's three models. We got the San Dimas Style One, San Dimas Style Two, and then we have the SoCal Style One. But what's happening is they all come in black. Okay. And then each quarter or every three months, we release a new limited color for each model. Once they're gone, they're gone. And then we make the announcement just days before the new ones get released. And then as Mad Dash, get your new color or come out and buy one of the black ones. Can never go wrong with black. How many in the run of each color? Do you have any idea? We don't uh, disclose that. You'd have to kill me? That's right. <laughs> That's right. Actually, I wouldn't kill you. Nick would kill you. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> we wouldn't want that. Um, and of course, uh, the custom shop stuff for Charvel, as everybody remembers and loves, and, and it's at the standard of quality that it, in, in any time in history, I mean, it is it is so badass. Tell us uh, about some of the, the custom shop stuff. Yeah, like you said, we've uh, we continue to raise the bar. One of the things we've always been known for is quality and then custom shop. It's a hot rod guitar. We're modified for higher performance. What we have here is a little old school and new school mixed in together. Um, for instance, we have, we still do the crackle finishes, which was a real popular finish in the 80s. Just brought that back. Uh, all of our graphics are still hand painted. The guitars are handmade, the custom shop guitars. Uh, they still have the Charvel neck, jumbo frets, all the right parts. And when I say the right parts, it's all the stuff, you know, the Charvel vibe started by being a modded guitar. Way back in the day, late 70s, early 80s, there was an emerging player that wasn't being addressed by the two big manufacturers, being Fender and Gibson. Right. And these guys were coming out playing and having bigger needs on the guitars. So what we, they started doing was taking their Fenders, their Gibsons in, and having them modified. The Charvel shop was one of them that was doing that. Yeah. Then they got smart. Grover Jackson bought the company and said, let's make some guitars to suit the needs of these players. And that's what we've done. We flatten out the fretboards as you go up. It's compound radius. We've got the nice back shape. We don't put finish on the neck. It's a nice, easy you know, neck. You slide up and down. Uh, put all the right parts. Like you know, people were putting Duncans and DeMarzios in back then. Why do we make our own pickup then? Yeah. Yeah. Don't do it. Let, somebody's doing a really good job of that. Let's make guitars and let's buy the right parts and put them on the guitars. Grover tuners, you'll find shalers, you'll find all sorts of stuff on these guitars. We mix and match. Okay. Are, are, can, can these be built to spec? I Absolutely. mean, can. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what a custom shop is all about. You dream up your guitar, your configuration, your recipe, so to speak, and you write it up on a sheet. We build it. Let's take a look at some of the other finishes, man. Here we got plenty to choose from. Of course, some of these are the traditional designs, uh, but there's a there's a new flavor here going on with some of these as well too. Uh, tell us about some of those. Well, what you have here is is uh, a perfect example of of people specking out guitars, and I, I what we did was make some extras so you know we can kind of show what you can do. You can go anywhere from a basic uh, wood finish, wood grain guitar. This is a nice equatorial mahogany, super light. Guy didn't want a lot of stuff on it. Just you know, it's a basic you know one knob, a switch, pickups, and wood. It's time to go, right? Yeah. yeah. Then the the opposite end of the spectrum. You get a full on graphic, hand painted, like I said. Full on graphic. Guy wants to get a graphic put on his guitar. He's into like a different you know right. vibe. We can do that too. And it's beautiful fit. As you can see, these are beautiful. They're hand done. This one particular was done by Mike Learn. He's known for doing Harleys and stuff. And uh, we hook up with the best artists out there. Awesome, awesome. Uh, electronics, everything is, is customizable, uh, obviously. Uh, what are you seeing uh, as far as the trends do you think so far with the Charvel line in the customized market? We're, we are in the era of the one-off, aren't we not? Yeah, we certainly are. And one of the things that has typically been a Charvel staple and, and guys typically 
like kind of stick to the certain players like you'll find us doing guitars with just one knob no tone just a volume uh, you'll find guys that you want one pickup for instance uh, so why do you need a switch so you get one pickup you'll find guys doing that uh, Floyd Rose is coming back I get a lot of uh, vibe for the getting you know Floyd Rose you, you know that you can music's switching again mm -hmm. yep. shredders are coming back players are coming back um, I'm finding more and more kids that just rip. We had a we had a 12 year old kid in here yesterday. I saw that. Ten, you saw yeah. that. Playing for seven months, shredding on Randy Rhodes. Yeah. He got it from Guitar Hero. Yeah. You know, and so God bless Guitar Hero, huh? Yeah, I mean, bring it back, man. Bring back the players. Awesome. Where can people, uh, viewers, find out more and how to get their customized Charvel uh, website? Charvel.com, and then hit the dealer finder. Find your dealer. Uh, if you want to go custom shop, all you have to do is fill out a form, basically spec out your guitar. A lot of dealers carry their own runs. I find a lot of dealers doing their own. Yeah. Like, ah, I'm going to do 12 of these or 20 of these, and they're always they're like just absolutely busy. Awesome. Awesome. Ready for a beer, brother? I'm ready for a beer. It's yeah. like beer 40. Yeah. <laughs> Past. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. We appreciate it, Michael. So Good much. luck with everything at Charvel. We look forward to uh, looking at the custom shop a little closer, but we wanted to get something here from Summer Nam 2008, rocking Nashville with Charvel. Rock on.